Howdy guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at transforming shapes but we'll be starting off with the location. How do we manipulate that? But before that let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.ca.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here. Yeah. So now, just so you guys know, this is going to be a mini series on transforming shapes. We're going to go, or should I say, we're going to be going through all the different tools we can use to transform uh, some basic things like location, scale, rotation, skewing, and so forth. And uh, I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, in today's video, the first one here, yeah, we're going to be looking at the location and a few different ways we can adjust it. Now, right off the bat, the most easiest way that I could recommend is just using your selection tool. By default, it should be on. But if it's not, you can just click it. It's a top level tool there on the left toolbar, or draw bar. And then make a box selection over your selection you want to change. Make sure you keep your left mouse button in, drag it right over. If it's only partially over, it will not select it. Something to keep in mind. So you can simply drag and make a box selection over. Another way you can select it is just clicking on the rim here. But that can be quite tricky if you're not close enough. As you can see here, nothing's happening. And then um, if you have multiple objects, you can do the same. You can either just grab a box selection over them or select one, keep shift to select another one. Now, like I mentioned, the quickest way to change the location is simply using your arrow keys on your keyboard. You can go right, left, up, and down. And if you keep shifting, then it will jump it with bigger increments. So if you want to make a quick movement and then if you want to find adjust your leaf shift, then you can find adjust that. It is by far the easiest way. Another way we can do this is I'm um, clicking on these edges with your left mouse button and holding it in. Then you will see you have an option to move it. Now this can be quite tricky if you like once again clicking past it or if you by accidentally hit one of the control points. So you don't want to move it on this, otherwise it's going to scale it. Let's undo that. Another way we can change the actual location is we can use this top bar here on the left. And this first one has got the location. So if you need precise measurements, you can always do that. And currently the origin is set to the middle here where we can change it here next to the lock. So we click here, we can choose where the origin is. So let's say we want the top left corner, just as an example let's say we want to align it exactly with a second dot here. Then you can mouse, use your mouse cursor here and kind of look on the bottom right here what is the measurements if you want. So we've got there about 100 by 200. Same way on our rulers we can see it's 100 by 200. So then what you can do is we put in x-axis it will be 200 and this one will be 100. I think I got that. No, I got that wrong. 100 by 200 the other way around there we go now it's exactly on that point now likewise if we have this selected we can do the same things here on the right under your system work plate go to transform the first one position you can set type in the amount here the origin point and click apply so let's just make this maybe 150 by 2 50 set the origin point also to the top right corner click apply okay and we have no update we see changes to 300 400 okay there we go so i'd recommend uh you can use that one as well just maybe try it twice like i did there not sure why i didn't take it Otherwise, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover, and also you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find what you're looking for, just go here, request a training video, then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.